Hey guys, Mark Boswell, Boswell Emergency Medical Education, coming to you, well not live, but coming to you from the road again, um, as I do from time to time. So a uh, little video short here for you. This is not specifically CEN specific. Um, there's, uh, this is actually more useful for any of our emergency nurses, medics, transport folks, any of our emergency care providers. Uh, a little something I want to share with you as far as PEDS weight estimation, okay? So, you know, typically when we teach uh, in EMS or emergency classes, we talk about PEDS drug dosages, PEDS resuscitation formulas and all that. We base it all off on, off of what? That Braslow tape. Um, and it is an evidence-based, uh, commercially manufactured and sold length-based resuscitation tape. Um, and as most of you know, it's you measure from the foot of the child to the head, and it puts you in a zone on the tape measure next to them. And that zone is a very good approximation of drugs, dosages, tubes, um, devices specific for that child's body size. And that has been researched and validated as a very useful tool. Um, it's, um, it's been smack on smack dead on about 54, 55% of the time. Um, and when it's not, it only has a variability of about 10%. But it is fairly much considered the standard of emergency practice for pediatric weight-based um, interventions, drugs, etc. So let's think about when that Braslo tape is not available. You can't find it. You are unfamiliar with how to use it. Um, for some reason, it's just not an option. You need to, you know, part of this business dealing with crisis and emergencies is we always need to have backup or alternate methodologies or alternate uh, techniques or whatnot. So I'm gonna show you something I just learned recently about Pete's weight estimation. Um, this by no means is perfect, but it will get you within about 10 to 15% for the average child. So I need to caveat and say that this is not taken into consideration if they're an excessively lean child or an obese child. Okay, so for the average child, um, and again, this is a, this is better than nothing, and at least gets you pretty close to where you need to be, and it's easy to remember when you're in a crisis situation. So the way you use it is you're going to take one hand, and on that one hand, you're going to consider your fingers the following numbers. I'm going to use my right hand for you, and I'm going to call my thumb one year old, three years old, five years old, seven years old, nine years old. Okay, so we're only going to use this for between the ages of zero and ten. One, three, five, seven, nine. I've numbered my fingers on the right hand. On the other hand, I'm going to take my fingers, starting with the thumb again, and I'm going to go 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. Okay, so I'm going up by five with each one. Starting with 10. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And the way you use this to get your approximation, hang on here while I make this turn. Alrighty. Is you're gonna take those your two hands and put them together. Okay? So my right thumb was one. My left thumb was ten. One year old, approximately ten kilograms. The next finger was three. Index finger was 15, three years old, approximately 15, 15 kilograms, and so on. Five, five was my middle finger. Sorry about that, y'all. 20 kilograms, seven, 25 kilograms, nine, 30 kilograms. Okay, so odd numbers over here one, three, five, seven, nine years old, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 kilograms. Okay, now. If they're between those age ranges, so let's say the child is four, one, three, five. So between these two fingers, 10, 15, 20. Between these two fingers, four year old, approximately 17 and a half, 17 ish kilos. Okay, and so at least you can estimate that. If they're under one, I don't really know if it's that useful for under one, but I would say you could even go up to 10 with this because we have one, three, five, seven, nine. So 10 would be just beyond that. We're going up by five over here. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So one, just a bit past the pinky, past nine years old, makes 10, 10 years old. A bit past this pinky, 
it's just a bit above 30, so maybe about 35, or maybe about 33 kilos, something like that. Um, again, it's just a rough estimate, it's a shot in the dark, it's pretty close, um, but again, remember, it does not take into consideration if they're um, obese for their age, or if they're very, very lean, slender, and have a very low body weight for their age. You'd have to add that into your clinical judgment. But at least if you need a good starting point, you know nothing else about the child, and you don't have a more reliable tool, such as the Brazo, or length-based resuscitation tape, it's a good starting point to confirm that better. Um, hopefully, again, uh, ideally, you would weigh the child at some point, um, even if it means during the resuscitation or after they're stabilized, get an actual weight on them, and then go from there. So, a little tidbit hopefully it helps you. Um, I, it's probably not going to be on the CE exam, but maybe something to help in your clinical practice, something to help some of the EMS folks that follow this page as well also, okay? So, there you go. And a way to estimate pediatric weight when you have no device or more reliable method to do it. Good luck. Hope that helps. Uh, leave your comments down below, uh, questions, feedback. Um, hey, if you already knew this technique and you've seen it before, I'd love to hear from you, uh, especially if you've ever had to use it. That'd be great. Share it with me uh, in the comments, and I'll give you some feedback, and it'd be great to add to the discussion, all right? Everybody be, be safe. I'm going to get back on the road, uh, teaching TNCC up in Birmingham this uh, the next two days, and um, be safe. See you on Facebook.